Sure. Now, first off, congratulations to uh, Coach Wallace and his staff. Um, really felt like uh, North Alabama did a fantastic job. Um, they played pretty much air-free football, and our hats are off to them. Uh, they're well deserving of the win, and um, very good football team, very well coached football team uh, that I think executed at a very high level uh, today. And uh, our hats off to them. Uh, you know, I'm I'm extremely fortunate and blessed. Uh, I've been able to coach these guys up a year. I got a great group of seniors that uh, have just worked their tails off and really just, you know, been fantastic. And so, I, you know, I feel horrible for them uh, that this game went this way. Uh, I really want to spend more time with them. Really wanted to uh, be able to uh, continue this. Uh, but. I think we've been very blessed this season, and a lot of neat things have taken place. So, um, you know, I'm, I'm extremely disappointed for them, uh, extremely disappointed that uh, this thing can't continue. Uh, but at the same time, very, very proud of what they did this year um, and what they accomplished. Uh, really overcame a lot and really worked through a tremendous amount of adversity and um, you know, you got two seniors sitting right here uh, that have been to more, you know, senior-led workouts, um, getting the team together, doing things in the course of their five and six years. And um, LJ is the future. Uh, and that baton will be passed to him. So you know, we've, we've got a great future. But I'm extremely proud of those guys, uh, and extremely proud of what this group's accomplished this year. Let's say, Coach, uh, probably uh, the turning point was you got a, you had, you had a chance there in the, in, towards the end of the first half to, to get at least a uh, field goal out of it. Um, as I say, did Luke make a bad read? Or was it a bad poor play? Just I think it. very good play. Very good play by the corner. Uh, he's quick. And uh, he, uh, I think he read the play pretty well. And, uh, you know, we called something that we call a lot. That's a, that's a play that we uh, uh, have run uh, numerous times. Luke's got confidence in his arm to get it there. And uh, the guy made a great play. Obviously, that would have been great to get three at least. Um, and so, you know, then we were down there again later. I, I, I think down there again later, and, you know, Connor did something that he hasn't done uh, all year. So, you know, credit to uh, North Alabama and them, them playing at a high level. Luke after the second um, interception trying to went for a touchdown. It looked like it took a really long time to get up on that far sideline. I guess what were you what was going through your mind at that moment? Um, at that moment, I was just trying to figure out um, what we needed to do to get back into this game. Um, I mean, obviously, it, if you after you throw your two consecutive pick sixes, it's, it's a, I mean, there's not really a lot in your mind except for just dang. But uh, yeah, I'm not, I'm not going to try to dwell on them. I'm going to celebrate with these guys. And uh, you know, I'm going to finish up tonight. I'm going to finish up the day with my teammates and my brothers. And uh, just thinking about all the good things we had. Yeah, I mean, it's right. You guys, how important is that? I mean, obviously, the last, most of the last half was really didn't go your way. But how much is it? How important is it to, to not be side of all the great things you did? Uh, uh, just, um, yeah, I mean, the second half really did not, I mean, plays just didn't go the way, I mean, our way, the way they've been going all season. And, uh, I mean, that's, that's football. And just, the game's still going to be played. Uh, I just, I mean, I, I, obviously, I said 20 I wish we could have turned around and said, okay, well, I wish I would have thrown that ball, you know. But, I mean, what's done is done. We're going to live with it. Uh, just. Sorry that it had to happen like that. Tough way to go. You know, we, we came out, came out in the second half, got the got the lead back. Uh, felt like we, you know, we got a great punt return uh, by Stroh, 
uh, got us in great field position. We're able to do it, um, you know, and then uh, they, you know, they put together a great drive, um, you know, 75 yards, and I think we're in it. And then we're down, we're down 10, and uh, you know, we in that time span we throw a pick six and we miss a field goal. So things that uh, you know we we had not done, but. Again, great credit to Coach Wallace and his staff. I mean, they just they had a good game plan against us and, and did some really nice things. And uh, you know, Luke Wingo, I, I think played a fantastic game. I mean, he was in control of the game on their side and uh, ran the ball well, threw the ball well. So, uh, talking about his punt return, obviously, you know, they get the ball first, start the second half. You come up with a big, big play, you get you get the the forty yard punt return mm -hmm. by LJ there. Uh, you guys go in and score. All of a sudden, you think momentum is yep. he he heading your way, and, you know. And then I get kind of talk about did the winds kind of come out of the guys' sails, or? Well, no, I think we, we had a couple we had a couple things that took place in there. You know, they hit a long run in that drive, and uh, they you know they, they, they really ran a couple <clears throat> plays extremely well. And so uh, you know, even when they scored and it was you know 17 13, we're like, all right, we've been here before. Uh, that's not an issue. Um, we, uh, we had a couple bobbles in there, a couple drops. Uh, it's uncharacteristic of us. Uh, that's something that I thought our guys did really, really well all season long. And for that to happen uh, in that next drive, and then all of a sudden, okay, we're down. And all right, we're battling, we're moving. Um, you know, and like I said, then that's, uh, they got the momentum and, and we could not you know, swing it. Uh, I think we had the momentum starting the second half. Uh, our guys were ready. I thought we had a good halftime. We made some good adjustments. Felt good about what we were doing. Uh, just, you know, just didn't go out and get down what uh, what we wanted to do. So, uh, LJ, we, you know, we talked on the phone this week. You were talking about how you know they were going to be a run-oriented team. Um, they came out that first drive, kind of threw it probably a little bit more than they, than they usually do. What was the problem with you guys being able to kind of contain them? What, what, you know, you guys seem, you know, we talked about that. What, what seemed to be kind of, how were they able to execute that, the, the running attack? Mr. Simons will give out blocks for our energy. They would be a good friend. Like, we can put a time out of play, get out blocks, get to the ball like we need to do. Yeah, we can get to the ball, tackle hard, play fast. Um, talk about, you know, Coach Henning there saying that, you know, that, these seniors are going to pass the baton to you. So are you ready to, to take that challenge for next year and, and and not only do, you know, kind of match what they did this year and, and try to take, go to the next level? Yeah, I'm definitely I'm looking forward to uh, being a leader. I'm going to already look at it as a leader. I mean, it's really hard to you know, step in and be the leader as we can fair with. I mean, step in, do my best, and we're going to take it far as we can. Let's talk about you know, his defense, what they did, and uh, how they compared to the defense that you've seen. I mean, uh, if, I'm, if I was going to compare anything, I'd probably say they're Charlotte-ish, 49ers. Um, they, they, I mean, they got a lot of great athletes on that team, a lot of speed. Um, I mean, it really, I mean, playing Winston and Charlotte and then Valdosta, those, those three teams are very fast. I mean, there's really nothing we we had, didn't see, haven't, or haven't, excuse, haven't seen before. It was just a matter of I mean, plays just didn't go our way. Uh, like Coach said, we had a few drops. I mean, I was uncharacteristic today. Um, I mean, they didn't really, what they gave us is what we expected. Uh, we just didn't, we didn't capitalize, we didn't take momentum. We couldn't swing the couple minimum, like Coach Shinnick said. Um, one thing you guys keep kind of bringing up is the term uncharacteristic. Is there, Maybe a reason or something to attribute that to. Maybe uh, you know, did the bye week throw you off at all? No, no, sir. No, sir. If anything, it, it did help us. Um, uh, uncharacteristic. I mean, when's the last time you've seen our defense give up 275 yards rushing? When's the last time you've seen any quarterback throw five interceptions? Um, it's just, I don't know. I, it's just things we we haven't done. We pride ourselves on doing the little things right. And capitalizing on every little thing, and we're it throughout practice Monday through Friday, and then we just we just didn't come out and capitalize on them. I mean, so and North Alabama played a very good football. Team. I mean, they they played a very good football game. I mean, 
and they executed at a very high level. And, and for us to uh, maintain that lead or to get that lead back, we needed to do that. Uh, they made the plays and we didn't. So uh, again, a lot of credit to them and how they do things. Uh, a lot of credit to uh, their football team. Uh, one more question. Guys. Okay, Fred, 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 uh, as I say, you guys lost that battle, uh, obviously, in the trenches, and that definitely was an uncharacteristic of you guys. Uh, were you guys kind of surprised that they were able to kind of manhandle you, quote unquote, uh, and, you know, like they did today? No, not surprised at all. I mean, we just played a cold black defense, and um, it was just one one or two guys that was that was uh, out of their gaps or a miss assignment here, a miss assignment there. I mean, we defense wise we were pretty much there, but it was just one or two guys that weren't executing the way they were supposed to, and then that's when they got those big runs on us. But I mean, it's nothing special about their offense. I mean, they're a good team. They're a very good team, and when you play a very good team, they will expose you. And uh, I'm just. They were, they're, they're just a very good team and they're, they're exposed to school. But not surprised at all. Thanks, Thank you, gentlemen.